Hello, I'm Jonathan Mansky, Cerebral Sanitation Engineer. There's two main components to success. And component one is the things that you're doing. You know, the right strategies, the right tactics, the right plans, the right execution of those plans. And then the second part is who is it who is doing those things? And so often what happens is when things aren't going right, we bring our attention to that first part and we go, oh, I need to take a course on sales. Oh, I need to do this. I need to learn that. I need to do this. Instead of taking a look at who is it who's doing those things in the first place. Because if you aren't the right person doing those things, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you've got in your head, I can't sell, I can't sell, I can't sell, I can't sell. Oh my gosh, I can't sell. And you take a class that teaches you some sales techniques. Guess what? You're going to have some new techniques and you're going to go out there going, I can't sell, I can't sell, I can't sell, I can't sell. Um, I don't deserve to succeed, I'm not a good business person, that sort of thing, right? It doesn't matter how good your plans are, you're not going to execute on them, you're not going to execute them well because of what's going on in your head. Now it takes both of these, right? They're both crucial. I'm just saying that a lot of times we focus on the first thing, the let's learn something new, instead of taking a look at who is it who's doing these things in the first place. And it takes both. If you think of a bicycle, your, your business is a bicycle, but who is it who's makes the bike go. It's you. It's the one pedaling the bike. And if you aren't in good enough shape, if you don't have strong enough leg muscles, that bike isn't going to go where you want it to go. Well, it's the same thing with your mindset and your attitude. If you don't got the right stuff, you aren't going to get to where you want to go. A couple of examples of that from people I've worked with. Uh, I had a lady who uh, was a business banker and she came to see me because she was extremely frustrated. She was stuck because she was doing all the right things. She was working really hard but she could not, for the life of her, achieve her monthly sales goal. Every month she fell short. So every month she got to feel a little bit less good about herself, you know, so it's that downhill spiral thing. And uh, smart lady, hardworking lady, pleasant lady, you know, no reason she shouldn't be able to achieve this goal, but she couldn't. Well, she couldn't because something was going on inside here. We took care of that and all the things she was already doing blossomed the way they were supposed to. So we did a session and the next month, by the end of the third week, she had achieved her goal for the first time in her life ever, right? She didn't do anything different, but what she was doing was more fruitful because she got out of her way up here. And the month after that, she achieved her goal, and the month after that. So this goal became very easily obtainable by making a little change in who was it who was doing these things in the first place, where before it was impossible to achieve. And then, the, you know, the month after that, she achieved her goal in two weeks and went, on Mex went to Mexico for a vacation for two weeks. That sort of thing. A real estate agent I worked with hadn't been able to sell her own house for over a year. What was going on in her head was this thing that said, it's not safe to move on with my life right now and selling my house would be moving on with my life, so therefore it's not safe to sell my house. Now she didn't know that was going on in her head, but it was. And so all the right things she was doing, the house was priced right, it looked great, lots of showings, could not yield the results she wanted of the sold house because of what was going on inside her head. We took care of that, we cleaned that out, and three weeks later, I got a message from her you know, that said, hey, thank you very much, my house is now under contract. Right? This is after a year of it not selling, took care of what's going on in her head, and boom, it sold. Right? So when people are doing the right things, but they aren't yielding the results they should, there's a 100% chance you got some head trash that's getting in your way. If we get in there and clear that out, those right activities are gonna blossom for you, and they are gonna bear fruit, and you're gonna get those results you know you wanna be getting.